All right, I'm going to do a review on the Intex K2 Explorer two-person kayak. This one, just judging from the picture, looks a lot different than the original that I've seen a lot of videos for. The straps are up top rather than down in the boat for the uh, backrest. That looks good. There's also looks more like a more rigid front end and more rigid rear end with handles on them to be able to carry it down. It comes with two oars or paddles and it comes with the pump as you can see here. It also boasts a 400 pound capacity which is significant for two people to be able to ride or like you and your wife or you and your kid or something like that would be able to get along in this. Oh and it's certified. That means a lot to me. I don't know why but it just means a lot. <laughs> So let's get this thing out of the box and see what happens. All right, pulled it out of the box and there's a bag, a kayak in a bag. All right, it comes with the air pump, which this air pump, it blows air out here whether you're pulling it up or pushing it down. So no matter what, it's always pushing air in. You've got one paddle here that you gotta put together, the skag for underneath. This is the skag, skag, whatever you wanna call it is the fin that goes underneath at the back to help kind of guide you going straight. Your second fin, here's the boat or kayak, and then you've got your two seats out there that you'll have to blow up. From what I understand, you've got numbered uh, spots that you fill it up at. And you do that in order because it'll help it to inflate easier and better. So let's work on these and look at the instructions to see where we got to go. All right, judging from the looks of it, it goes paddle. And I don't know, it says it twisted in there. But uh, we're going to have those two on either end of the center. And then you're going to put one of those, the silver and black ones on the outside of that. And then a paddle on the outside of that. There it is. See, I've got those. The rounded part goes on the outside of both sides. So that way your hand can be like that against it if you're going to go that far in. But you're going to hold it here. And then it goes like this. And then the right, you're going to have that or the left, whichever way you want to do it. Center is going to make both paddles the same way. And then you can rotate it either way depending on how you want to paddle. All right, this first part, it didn't take long at all. This pump is pretty quick. So they give you this little measuring thing and you're supposed to pump it up until the little line meets the other little line, which I'm pretty close, but I'm gonna put just a little bit more in there and then we'll move on. See, that's number one. And then number two is over here, two and then three and then you've got four and then five over there if it'll focus and then six seven of course so i'm just going to go ahead and get this pumped up real quick and there it is we're about to take it out on the lake see how it works the camera is going to have to go into a uh, waterproof bag so i don't know what the sound quality is going to be like it looks pretty good I'm wondering how the backrests are going to hold up, but quite literally, I mean, that pump that comes with it, it is, seems like it, it went really quick. It was no problem at all to fill this up. Uh, this one here and the one in the back, you're going to have to fill up with your mouth. I mean, you can fill it up, but it's really just this little bend part that fills up. Just this, two or three breaths and you're done with that. Um, there's two parts to where it fills up. You've got this outer little square peg right here. That unscrews from an inner round one. Okay, you only do the little square one to fill it up because it's got a one-way valve so you don't lose air. Then when you want to let the air out, there's a secondary part here where this whole plug starting at not, not where that gasket is, but this black round piece here, you, you unscrew that and this whole plug comes out and the air comes out faster. So, 
that was one thing I wanted to point out. My wife is shorter, so we're gonna put her all the way up front. I'm a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna sit back here. This might prove to be wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to have me in the center, which that kind of makes sense. And then put her all the way at the back. I don't know. We'll figure it out right now. Actually, get a little bit closer. I don't know how well the sound is gonna be on this, but uh, we've got both both the kayaks out here. There's there's the single seater over here. Got the single seater there and the double seater here. And I wanted to show one of the most of the videos I see on there, they don't have them actually getting into it. And that's what I wanted to show. We got mom over here, she's gonna get in the front. You're just gonna get into this seat. You're either gonna sit sideways or you're gonna straddle it or whichever way you think you can get into this the best. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. It's just like that. Come on. <laughs> deep enough to where this, that fin on the bottom, the skag, is not going to get scraped. Yeah. Kathleen, move. It's not easy to get into this thing, but once you're in... <laughs> You put your feet on the sides of the other seat. I'm trying to find a spot to put my hand so I can get back. Mm. There we go. That's a little better. It's not too left at the time. Back a little bit. Like I said, I don't know how well you guys can hear me or how well that's going to do, baby. Can you bring that out to me now? Yes. All right, now we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna watch <laughs> mom beat up Gina in the butt. Okay, that's too far. Let's just hold out right here. I'm gonna watch them get in. Now, Gina and Kathleen aren't very big. Gina's four foot 11 and Kathleen is real little. There you go. Turn turn around and head out a little bit. Oh, you're gonna make her do all the work? Well, I really can't. I don't want to. Oh, what about the one It's okay. You guys gonna go or what? Yeah. Push push them away before they end up in the There you go. Yeah. We'll make mom row for just a little bit. Put your hands a little further out, Mama. Yeah, where the black handled spots are. And make it a little easier for you to row. There you go. Then you got all of us out here. Toting across the lake. We'll talk more about this later when we get back to camp. Now I want to show getting into the single. I weigh, I don't know if you guys can hear me, 270 pounds, basically. This is my first time getting in it, so please bear with me. Wow, this one really sits up on top compared to that one. That one seems to sink down. That's 
just supposed to sit like this? Because I don't know if I can get my legs down in there. That's why I pulled the seat up because you're too far back. <laughs> That's a little harder to get into. But with it, at, with it not far back, this one seems to want to tip more. I don't know if it can though. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to watch your balance on this one. But this one definitely sits on top of the water better. This one's not as easy to float, to, to stay balanced. Requires more cord strength. But it's definitely faster. This thing is a whole lot faster. I hope you guys can hear me. Let me get a little bit closer. So this one's a whole lot faster than the two. The two people, it seems to sit lower into the water and drags a lot more. It's harder to keep it going faster. This one seems to sit right up on top of the water, even at my weight. And it seems to run great across the water. So I don't know. I'm going to go take it for a little spin. But it, does, it doesn't... I mean, it just... It definitely feels like you're going to flip over. All right, let's finish this up a little bit. What we did here was, we, for me, because I'm a lot bigger, we took the seat and we actually, instead of it going forward, we flipped it under and backwards, which allowed me to sit in there better. I had more room for my legs. It just, I felt in it farther to where i wasn't going to flip over as easy and uh it's still it still rode real nicely along the water this one is going to be more i think more of a cruiser unless you have lightweight people in it then it's going to be able to skim easier across the uh, water this one it does seem like it's got more air on the bottom which actually sets you up on top to skim better so all in all i mean it just really depends on what you're doing if you're just out for a cruise two people this would be great if you're one person wanting to get a little bit wild i guess i wouldn't take this into the rocks though you're definitely going to end up dying no <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna rub and you know whatnot but uh there's there's actually storage underneath backwards if you don't have the extra cushion there um the storage up front is great this one has no storage except for maybe behind the back seat you can put some stuff back there which i use that for the life jackets and whatnot but yeah all in all i hope you guys can hear me this is a really great purchase that that we did uh please uh like if you like it uh comment if you guys have one uh your your thoughts and ideas on on what else you can do with these and uh don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video